In this example, we will see how we can categorize customer feedback using the text analytics capabilities of IBM SPSS Modeler Premium. If we begin by looking at the data, by clicking on the source node we've got available here, and clicking preview, we can see that the data relates to customer comments regarding how they felt about the customer service they received when they hired a car. And we can also note that the customers are free to say whatever they want, and as such, some of the responses are a lot more verbose than some of the other ones. Ideally, we'd like to be able to categorize the responses in terms of the topics and subjects that the people mention. But we'd also like to include the sentiments that they express about how they evaluated the customer service experience. By using the text mining node, we can analyze the source data. And to do so, we can call up a resource template. At this point in time, we're actually going to be running with a default resource template. And this is known as Basic Resources English. We can see the effects of just using the default settings within the extraction and categorization process. And to do so, all we need to do is click Run. When we run this procedure, Modeler opens up the interactive workbench application within the text analytics extension of Modeler Premium. And it begins the process of extracting linguistic concepts from the data. These extracted concepts are a core component of the categorization process. And we can even see which responses the concepts have been extracted from by highlighting a concept, in this case, customer service and clicking display. And it shows all of the responses where customer service has been mentioned. Note that we have a column here marked type and that most of the concepts that we've seen extracted here fall into a type category as unknown. However, scrolling down, we can see that some of the type categories have been uh, identified as, for example, here products, which is referring to the term windows, or the concept two miles, which falls into the type category weights and measures, or Ford Explorer, which falls into uh, the type category product. In fact, we can see all of the types categories that are available to us by clicking on the uh, drop down menu here. And it shows us that in fact we have available location, product, currency, weights, time, date, and organization, all as type categories. These type categories help with the categorization process and they're drawn from the basic resources English template that we showed earlier on. It's important to note, however, that in order to categorize the data, it's not always necessary for every concept to be assigned to a known type category. In fact, we can request that the system automatically categorizes the responses. And in doing so, it makes a reasonable attempt to create coherent groups. If we want to do that, we can simply go to the Categories menu, click on Build Categories, and click Build Now. And it begins the process of building categories. Here are the categories that it runs and creates using just the default settings within the application itself. So here are the categories that the uh, text mining engine has created just using the default settings and the uh, basic resources template. We can look inside these categories. So for example, here looking at the finance category, we can see that it's populated by concepts such as credit, money, insurance coverage, charge, and it also has some subcategories in here such as insurance. And if we highlight that category and ask it to display the records associated with it, we can see which records are actually falling into it. Some of the records definitely refer to financial uh, uh, concepts such as insurance or money, but some of them are just referring to checkout and checking the car. So it's done a partially good job on categorizing the responses. Can we do a better job using a different library and enhancing the categorization process by helping it out a little bit. Let's have a look at another example and see if we can do that. 